Hi, this is Paresh Gupta from Cisco Systems. In the previous videos of the Slow Drain series, I explained the basic concept, detection and troubleshooting features. In this video, I'll explain the automatic recovery from Slow Drain. Automatic recovery is the key differentiation of MDS switches and is done both in software and in hardware. Cisco MDS switches maintain separate ingress queues with all ingress ports for all egress ports. These virtual output queues prevent head of line blocking. A frame sitting inside the switch for longer duration is treated as congestion and can be dropped by setting appropriate value as part of congestion drop timeout. A port in stuck condition can undergo link reset or port flap. On receiving link reset, if the ingress buffers cannot be freed, a special condition is flagged called LR received B2B. On top of that, MDS switches allows you to configure no credit drop timeout value. If the B2B credits are not returned to a port for a duration longer than the configured timeout, all the frames residing in the egress buffers as well as any new arriving frames are dropped. This results in releasing the back pressure from ISL port. On freeing up the buffers, ISL port send R ready back to switch 1. Switch 1 sends more frames to switch 2 and in this movement, the frames belonging to non-slow flow get chance to get forwarded. Note that the application on server 1 is anyway impacted, so the aim is to confine the impact on that port while forwarding traffic on all other ports. From 6 to 9 release of NXOS on MDS 9700, MDS 9148S and MDS 9250i, port ASIC has been enabled to provide hardware assistance. A new feature called Slow Port Monitoring has been added that provides real-time delay of R-Ready on all the ports on the switches. Slow Port Monitoring is done in hardware without any additional load on CPU. Another benefit of hardware assistance is that no credit drop minimum timeout has been reduced from 100 millisecond to 1 millisecond. Also, the granularity has been changed to 1 millisecond. For automatic recovery, the drop or the no drop action is now taken directly by port ASIC immediately without waiting for software intervention. The hardware assistance for slow drain detection and recovery has resulted in at least 60% incremental gain over previous releases. That's amazing! To summarize, Cisco MDS and Nexus switches complemented with DCNM provides rich feature sets for detection, automatic recovery and troubleshooting slow drain situation in your storage area network. Deploy these features today to have your own self-healing fabric. Thanks for watching.